Hello everyone, this is Heather Whitman here at the Highlands Museum and Discovery Center in Ashland, Kentucky. This is another one of our videos that we're going to be doing um, while we are closed due to the COVID-19 outbreak. Today we're going to be looking at Artist Corner. This is our rotating art gallery. It features work from local artists. They can submit their pieces for display. Now the current show went up in January. It was intended to run through April. Um, however, no one's really got to see it since mid-March, so that's why I decided to go through this exhibit today is to give these artists a little bit more screen time, as it were. Now, most of these pieces are for sale. Um, the proceeds go to support both the artists and the museum, so if anybody is interested in purchasing any, just let me know. So the first one we're going to look at, uh, these pieces are by Carol Terry. She is from Greenup, Kentucky, and is an active member of the Tri-State Art Association. She does a variety of mediums. This first one here is ink, and it is called St. Luke's Cathedral. We also have this one by Miss Terry. This is a oil painting entitled Bell of Cincinnati. Our next artist is Brandon Clark. Brandon is a West Virginia native. He primarily works in acrylics. He is an administrator of the Facebook group Tri-State Artists. And I think Brandon has submitted for every one of the shows we have done so far, so I really appreciate his participation. Uh, this piece is called Urban Refuge. And then we have another one by him. This one is called Woodland Passage. Next up, we have a photographer. This is Jesse Gannon. He's from Ironton, Ohio, and has been to photography since 2010. Um, he says that he's not a very creative and imaginative person. He can't draw, paint, or carry a tune, so he enjoys photography because it allows him to let his imagination run free. And this piece is called Sunset at the Boat Dock. And we also have this one by him, which is called The Red Train. I apologize for the glare. There's going to be a little bit of glare on some of these. I'll try to avoid it as much as I can. Next up, we have Melissa Scott Queen. She's an amateur photographer from Scioto County. She also works as an instructor at a local university. She graduated with a Bachelor of Fine Arts in 2003 in graphic design. And this piece here, just kind of spooky looking, this is called Obelisk. We also have another one by her here. This one is called Last Summer. So I'm going to turn this way now and go back and we're going to take a look at some of Shelby Steele's work. Now Shelby Steele is a self-taught artist from Wortland, Kentucky. He was inspired to start uh, painting after watching his grandfather paint as a child. He primarily works in acrylics, and this piece is called Mule Power. And then we have another one of his over here. This beautiful painting is called Morning Mist. Again, another acrylic of his. As we turn this way, look at these two great pieces. These are by Gretchen Bynum. Um, Gretchen works in a variety of mediums. Um, she says that she's done acrylic and oil, paper mache, collages. Uh, she likes to try everything. Um, these particular pieces are tissue paper collage. So kind of think about that. This is entirely made out of tissue paper. Uh, this one is called Cattle by Pond. And then this one is called Two Horses. Next up, we have some pieces by Tom Warden. He is a local freelance photographer here in Ashland. Uh, if you look him up on Facebook, he's done a lot of um, great pictures from around town, of architecture, things like that. Um, this piece, he was telling me that he set it up by putting the globe into a bathtub, and then he stood on a ladder and shot down in order to get this piece, and it is called More Precious Than Gold. It's based off of the Doomsday Clock. And then Tom also did this one called the Time Clock. And he said that this is actually his badge where he used to work um, at a local store. And it's kind of uh, 
interpretation of what our jobs mean to us. I'm going to turn this way. We'll take a look at Sharon Asher Steele. Sharon is married to Shelby Steele that we looked at a few minutes ago. Her pieces are in oil. Um, she began painting at the age of 12. This piece is called Back Road. And again, it's an oil painting. And we've got another one of hers over here. This one, another oil is called Cape Lookout. We're turning back this way. We'll take a look at the pieces by Lorna Rose. Uh, Lorna Rose is a self-taught artist. Um, she primarily does acrylic, but likes experimenting with other mediums. She works at the Greenup County Library, and she recently started the seasonal painting classes that they have there. And this piece is called Serendipity. And then we have another one of hers here. This one is called Bouquet. I'm going to step back so we can see it. It's quite large. Good piece. Our next artist is Chris Davis. Um, I first met Chris. He came here as a volunteer at the museum. He's a recent graduate of the University of Rio Grande. He loves history, uh, particularly military history. And this is a mixed media piece that he did called Honor the Fallen. And then we have this pencil work that he did called Never Forget. Next up, we have a photograph by Abby Malik. Abby Malik is originally from Ashland. She currently lives in Lexington working for KET. Uh, she said that she's always had a fascination with old windows and ornate doors, things of that nature. And uh, this picture is from the Second National Bank building. You can see the lovely door that they have there. And our last artist, but not least, is Mr. William or Bill Tessie. Um, this photograph is called Away. And Bill says that he likes to do what he calls environmental portraiture with digital photography. Our last piece um, and I just wanted to say I'm not sure when our next show is going to be since I don't know when we're going to reopen um, if any of my artists are watching this I know your pieces have been here longer than we intended if you need them back please just contact me I'll be happy to arrange that for you um, but they are fine staying here for a while longer I'd kind of like to um, let the show run a little longer after we finally get to reopen. But if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Again, guys, this has been Artist Corner. If you see any pieces you're interested in, think you might want to purchase, just give us a call here at the museum. Our number is 606-329-8888. And again, I don't know when we're going to be open again, but I certainly hope it's soon. Take care.